to our channel, the English, English Official. Official. I hope you all are doing great. If you're watching us for the first time, my name is Priya and, and I'm Jahvi and we both are here to teach you English and help you in your English journey. Yes, that's true. So, what are you waiting for in this video? In this video, we are going to discuss about movies, learning English through movies. It's not just for entertainment, but you can gain a lot of information. So let's find out how we're going to gain that information and learn English from movies. Without any further ado, let's get started. But before we get started, uh, I must say that even when I was a child, I used to watch movies, but I never thought that we can easily learn vocabulary and sentence formation from watching movies. But in this video, we are going to give you the step-by-step -step procedure, like how you can practice while you're watching movies. And this can help you immensely to improve your spoken English and also your pronunciation. Hold on, if you're thinking that, oh my god, watching movies, is that going to be different language and you can't understand anything from it? Hold on, it, the same thing happened to me when I was a kid and all my family members were laughing at a comedy scene which I never ever understood. But technology is advanced now, so guys, don't worry, I think there's a lot to learn from in English through movies. Let's get started. So let's start and know the first step from Jhatnavi. Um, we have been watching movies. Do you know, did yeah. we ever keep a book and a pen? I think yes, we should do that. When you really wanted to learn English or when you, if you're very passionate about learning a new language in American or a British accent especially and you want to know some of the phrases or idioms, yes, you have to have a book and a pen which is a must okay and the next most important tip that i'm going to give you is start at your level find out what your level is at speaking english imagine if you watch a movie and if you are like understood about more than 70 percent you're good if you are like in between 50 to 70 percent, you are at the intermediate level. If your understanding level is below 50 percent, then yes, you have to work around a lot. First trying to understand your level is the basic step that you need to start with. And choosing the right movie at your, that matches your level is another important tip that we have to give you. So let's start from the very beginning level, I mean for the beginners. It will be difficult for you to understand movies uh, of uh, categories like action movies and also romantic movies. So it's better to start from an animated movies. So if you take animated movies, what kind of movies that you can watch, especially for beginners? Uh, I would recommend you can watch uh, The Croods. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. Think our whole family packed together on a long, slow trip across country. We'll tell stories, we'll laugh, <laughs> we'll become closer as a family. And the second one that I'm going to recommend is Zootopia. I think it's full of animals and you can uh, really get to see the American culture and uh, you can easily understand their language because their pronunciation and also uh, how the, uh, they form the sentences are very slow. You can easily understand. When I was a kid, I thought Zootopia was this perfect place where everyone got along and anyone could be anything. So the third film that you can watch after the Zootopia is um, The Toy Story. I think uh, you can preferably watch this movie because uh, it is aimed especially for children. I think almost all the animated movies are aimed for children and they use simple English and it's not at all complicated. You can think it as uncomplicated English. So you must start with these basic uh, level animated movies so that you can easily learn and uh, grasp the vocabulary as well. What are you looking at, you hockey puck? And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Hello? Oh, yeah! Ah! Whoa! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Did I frighten you? Didn't mean to. 
And the fourth movie that I'm going to recommend is The Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's because of the dark humor and also the interesting storyline that is going to help you learn English easily. And it's so fantastic to watch these top rated movies so that you can easily learn any word and also even you can learn the sentence formation. Right? Yes. Because these storylines are less complicated and easy to understand, so they're targeted for the audience who are beginner's level in trying to understand the English language. So, why late? Try watching a movie first. What is it? It's a little person over there by the waterfall. There's two of them. There's more than two. Another most important thing that I wanted to give you is using your subtitles and using your subtitles in the right way. Okay? I'd like to say that if you use if you're using subtitles, then try to not use them for the very first time when you're trying to watch a film. And if you find it hard or tricky in trying to understand few words or vocabulary that have been used in the film, then try to switch on the subtitles and rewind it. That way you're going to understand as to what the word is and you don't end up looking down while the film runs, which is a very bad habit of understanding what they're actually trying to say. So first switch off the subtitles and then switch them on to try and then as to how much level can you understand the film without the subtitles. Okay. And you also wanted to choose the right player in order to choose the subtitles. I think if you look into YouTube, then you have the CC button where if you go to your settings tab and click on that, you can choose your subtitles and switch on them quite easily. Uh, yes, I think it's a very useful and effective tip because when you switch on the dip subtitles, then you will easily learn the meaning of each and every word especially the new words that you're going to encounter so this will help you to also uh, improve your pronunciation I'm thinking the next important thing that you can improve is pronunciation so by watching movies you can easily learn uh, how the native speakers are going to pronounce the each and every word right so it's the better way to learn pronunciation Okay, if you're aspiring to uh, move abroad, so you have to write exams like IELTS, TOEFL and PT. And for these, you must be proficient uh, in your spoken English. For that, you must have a better pronunciation. And on the other hand, you can also improve your life context. By how? I mean, how you can do that? Uh, see, let us suppose take a movie. So if you're watching a movie, you can easily understand the meaning of the word and also you can uh, get the uh, sentence formation by watching the film but whereas if you learn a book or might be an article and if you just uh, pick the word which you don't know and learn from the dictionary it, it's going to be difficult and you will easily forget it but from the movie you can remember it quickly and uh, you will never forget that right so I think it's a very basic thing that you can do by watching English movies so by you can learn pronunciation and also you can get to learn uh, more and more new words now, if you're at the intermediate level I think I would have to recommend you few movies the first one that I wanted to recommend you is the Notting Hill and this movie is a perfect romantic comedy movie and if you're not sure if you wanted to learn American accent or a British accent, this movie has both because there's a nerdy bookshop owner who falls in love with an American movie star. So it has both the accents clubbed in this one movie and which is very perfect for intermediate level. Hi. Hello. He disappeared. Yeah, um, I had to leave. I didn't want to disturb. And the next movie for the intermediate learners is Isn't It Romantic? I think you all know Priyanka Chopra. We all know, right? So she's a superstar. And I really love that movie because uh, I've actually seen the movie only to watch Priyanka Chopra. That's the reason that I've watched. 
I fell in love with the movie because there is a storyline which takes you around all the fantasy world and you can easily understand the American accent as well as the Indian accent by Priyanka Chopra. So I think uh, it's better to watch that movie because uh, it's quite interesting. So what do you do? That's the thing an ordinary guy would ask. I'm a yoga ambassador. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> But my real job is, I'm, I'm a swimsuit model. That makes sense. Really? And my favorite film of all in the intermediate level is The King's Speech. This film focuses on the England's King George who has a speech impediment and who wants to deliver a speech to the British people. This film is not only entertaining, but there's a whole lesson in pronunciation too. So you can learn a lot of things because the actor stutters a lot while he's trying to deliver a speech and there is a speech therapist in this film who tries to correct his speech and enables him to speak fluently in front of the British people and this has got all that you need and this is a perfect film that I would recommend to every one of you. So always try to watch movies which are fun and entertaining. So as she listed the movies, yes they are full of entertainment and what all we have listed today are almost full of fun filled movies. So do watch them and also you list out some of the movies which you like and which you have already watched and recommend us so that even we will watch those movies. Now let's watch a clip from this movie The King's Speech. Everything all right? Let's get cracking. I'm not here to rehearse. Dr. Logue. Are you done with watching the clip? Now, you must have noticed this phrase, let's get cracking. Now, what does this mean by saying get cracking? To get cracking means to start doing something immediately. In this context, the speech therapist wanted to correct the England's King George speech and so he wanted to start that immediately. So, likewise, we can learn a number of words or something that interests you a lot, you can learn that. And the next thing here is repeat the lines. Why did I say and why did I recommend you to repeat the lines? Is because, uh, see, if you want to, if you have liked something from the video, you can just uh, understand and use it in your daily conversation. So, you know, Americans and Britishers use different phrases, right? And even the way to just say hello we have many other ways uh, if you want to just uh, greet someone you will just say hello but if you take other people they will say hello what you're up to or what's hey up or as she said hey there so there are different ways to say hello like that you can note down and try to repeat it so make sure you repeat it loud because then you can learn and consume it okay so that is what you have to do last but not the least at all if you have anyone to watch a movie as a company I think try inviting some of your friend or probably your sibling whom you can converse in English so once the movie is done probably you have a partner so that you can converse in English and try to grab all the information and exchange your ideas purely in English yes <laughs> not to forget that okay and that's it for our today's video yes so i think uh, it's more informative so we will make sure we will give you more informative and helpful videos for you to learn english and uh, make you fluent in the english language and guys if you're finished watching these movies that we have listed down or at least any one of them and probably want to talk to us then please do watch the video talk with subscribers which gives you all the information as to how you can talk to us okay and we'll see you soon bye, bye. namaste